Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another NECA Toys cartoon TMNT video, and today we have yet another Target exclusive frog, not a Ninja Turtle, so that's a good thing, right? A little something different, but this is the newest figure, Napoleon Bonafrog, the Colossus of the Swamps, from an episode of the same name, a very bat poop crazy episode as they usually are and seeing this bebop and this rock steady it's just a matter of time right <laughs> we know what they do over at NECA toys with the cartoon line now the box has gorgeous artwork it's got gorgeous photography and it even has a little bit of a write-up so if you want to go ahead and screen grab it there you go but i highly recommend watching the episodes when you buy these figures it adds a little bit more enjoyment now, if you're wondering what the heck this thing is, at some point, Rocksteady mutates a fly with his rhino-ness, which is all kinds of Cronenberg nonsense. Kill me. And you get to see exactly what said Bonafrog does, right? Additional figures not included. I hate that we have to say that, but yet here we are. Traditional NECA fashion, you open up the box, you get photography, you get the figure, you get to see what's in the box. On the bottom side of the box, you got the barcode. You got everyone involved with the creation of this figure. So thank you very much for that. Shout out to May Tham Tarana. You're rocking it, my man. Very cool. Illustrations equally as awesome. Here's the barcode as well. I will have links right there on the screen if you want to pick this up at Target. Thanks for using my links. Helps the channel to grow. You know the deal by now. Thank you so much. Now, real quick, just to kind of go over the synopsis of this episode. You have those dang punk frogs that all they do is cause trouble in the swamps. Shredder and Bebop keep going back to get Mutagen. They want to get their Mutagen for their Muta shoot a gun, which is equally as fun to say. And poor Napoleon, he gets caught in the crossfires. All the other frogs take off, and uh, Napoleon gets juiced up. He essentially turns into the Hulk version of himself, equally with self healing clothes. Watch the episode. It's so frustrating to watch, right? Making no sense, huh? But they take Napoleon because he's mind controlled because Krang altered the mutagen mutashuta. <laughs> what the heck am I saying? But anyways, they take him back to the sewers with the goal of, get this, destroying the Ninja Turtles, right? Of course. But Donatello's like, no, Napoleon's my friend. Let me try to talk with him. A bunch of insanity occurs. Big Louie's involved with a diamond. It's not a big deal. But anyways, they end up putting Napoleon back to normal. But every once in a while, at the end of the episode, it's shown he's going to turn into this frog again. So, there you go. But anyways, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new NECA Toys Target exclusive straight from the cartoon TMNT line. Napoleon Bonafrog, the Colossus of the Swamps. So I gotta say, here's everything out of the box. If you watched my most recent video with the Marvel Legends blob, right? That's 56 bucks. This is $55. And this is everything you get in the box. Not the two figures though. More on that in just a second. You do get a couple pairs of hands. Nice looking hands. Very cool. They're not hard hands. They're a little bit gummy. And I appreciate that because they're... Not as brittle feeling. Also, you're going to want to heat up the hands, especially at the joints. None of them move. That's a bummer. He also has mutant grabbing hands. Bebop and Rocksteady wants to juggle them around. You could totally do that with these hands. You also get an extra head portrait, which kind of, if you don't know the context, makes it seem like the punk frogs are down in that bayou doing some of that there crack, right? But it's got nice paint every which way. It's got the cartoon shading. Very cool. And the heads pop off relatively easy. So that's nice to see. There's nothing's going to break, nothing's going to crack. You got a good thing going. It's not my favorite head, but it's very cartoon accurate, right? I totally prefer the more monstrous head. But uh, yeah, they nailed it. They nailed the expressions all the way around. Now, you do get the Muta Shuta. This is going to go for Shredder, kind of sort of for Donatello, too, if you wanted to do that. I like the green. I like the shape of it. The handle is perplexing. You're going to have to kind of mix up Shredder's hands. Hands I always have him pose with aren't going to do the trick. You kind of see it's, it's awkwardly shaped, we'll just say. So keep that in mind. But I would have preferred, right, you got all this mutagen in there, which looks great as you rotate it and look around. But on the tip right here, that would be cool if it had like a spray of mutagen. Really kind of cool effect, something like that would have made it just a little bit more oomph-ish, right? So that would have been cool. Now, like I said, you don't get the figures, you get extra head portraits. These were the previously released head portraits 
for these particular punk frogs. But now you have these new head portraits and they fit on them and they look awesome. Again, nice attention to detail straight from the episode. It's very cool. Watch the episode. You'll see these head portraits and they give a little bit more emotion, a little bit more animation instead of just being kind of stagnate, especially with Napoleon here. He's very cool looking. He looks very worried. Again, down in the swamps, whatever they're doing, he's got those big bags under his eyes. But again, it's cool. It breaks him up. And if you're wondering, yeah, these joints are excessively loose. You got to get stands for the punk frogs, at least on mine. But just to kind of show you, it breaks them up a little bit. You get a little bit more expressions and whatnot. So please, NECA, more of this. Bigger figures and whatnot. Put some extra head portraits in the box. Now, with this Colossus Napoleon right here, extremely deep cut never wanted this figure never asked for this figure never thought to ask for this figure but they delivered on it and it is a lot of fun that's the whole fun of the NECA toys cartoon TMNT line the designs for the animation make for great toys he even has a little bit of a jaw articulation right so that's cool so you get the head it gets a little gappy but it allows you to move this giant frog head around it's easy to pop off, which is nice to say. You don't have to heat it. You don't have to worry about anything. So you get to see the teeth and everything else. And then if you want, you can pop the old drug addict head on. <laughs> you failures got any flies? Which, again, it works. Watch the episode. You'll know the scenes. It works when you want to display them and whatnot. The cartoon shading, the darks to the lights and everything else works i'd say the orange to the red i wish they would have got a little bit more darker orange not just like a red but it totally works fine they got the big clawed opera feet you got peg holes on the bottom of his feet all the cell shading everything that goes with these figures it does look good now keep in mind he doesn't have those self-healing clothes like the cartoon did so NECA he kind of dropped the ball on that one i mean tch, come on but again like i said you get to swap the heads at your leisure it's nice and easy, but this is definitely the superior head. Totally like that. The articulation is sound as well. You got double joints every which way. You have to heat up the wrists. That's where I'm going to say be very careful. He does have some upper diaphragm. He has some minute ab crunch. You get a little bit of momentum out of that. He does have a waist amidst his tattered purple shorts. <laughs> you got some nice thigh. You got the whole double jointed knees, which... Go easy, didn't have to heat up anything, but just go easy at first. That's just what I always say with anything Negatoys puts out. Be very careful, you don't want to break anything, but I had no problems. Again, just heat it up, but the wrists, everything else should be fine. Maybe just go easy on the legs, but that's yeah, just the heads up. Now, in terms of the scalature, this guy is huge, as he should be, and he towers over the Ninja Turtles. So a lot of fun, a lot of photography, a lot of fun can be had with that whole situation. And in terms of the scalature, he's gonna be on the smaller end of the bigger type figures, but that's okay. He totally works, he's totally in scale. I love this line, it's fantastic. Love all the little extras, and I love they put the extra head portraits for different figures you already have in the box. So, that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new NECA Toys Cartoon TMNT Target Store exclusive. Napoleon Bonafrog, the Colossus of the Swamps. I like the extras that they threw in the box. I like the hands, I like the head portraits. I like how you expand your Ninja Turtle cartoon TMNT collection. That's a nice touch. There's not a whole heck of a lot you could really give this character, but they nailed it and they made it worth the price point. He's a big, hefty, chunky figure and I totally dig it. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything cartoon TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, San Diego Comic Cons are coming up. I cannot wait to see what they're going to have on display. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>